Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Okay, let's keep it up in your uh, territory here with Seton Hall and Creighton. It was a slump. It was maybe was it just a slump maybe for Creighton? Their favorite here by eight and a half. Moves go going to Seton Hall a little bit. Eight and a half, one thirty six and a half. Uh, yeah, I mean, I might say that one in five against the spread is definitely a, a, a slump. Right, but I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean but we could talk about so I could just yeah. clarify that. I mean, meaning it was a slump and they looked good last out. So are they back, going back up? Um, you know, I, I I think definitely. I mean, like I, it was funny because when I saw this, I'm like, man, I should just I should just go to the game. It sounds fun, right? Um, you know, but uh, the Pirates, they're seven and one in their last, you know, eight games. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, this is going to be crazy because, you know, Creighton's had like probably the toughest part of their schedule, you know, already. They've played Arizona, Texas, Nebraska, Arizona State, Marquette, BYU. You know what I mean? And so I kind of feel like that this is the time for them, you know, to kind of get going and win some games, especially in, in conference uh, to get back to where they need to be. Uh, but then I have the Seton Hall team that holds their opponents to like 40% shooting. Um, and then suddenly Creighton now has to win by nine. I don't like it. I think Creighton's going to win this game, but uh, I'm going to take Seton Hall here in the points. They've been covering. Creighton just has it. Creighton's going to have to show me a little bit more. Okay. Mindy will be on Seton Hall. Says that's too many points here when you're talking about the eight and a half. And yeah, the move has been uh, on Creighton so far. There's no doubt about that. But uh uh, I see a 136 and a half here, Mindy, and, um, you know, you might find that, I don't know, maybe I can get a little bit, pull a little bit of information out of your feel, but uh, I'm going to end up going over in this game. Uh, Creighton is 7 and 4 to the over as a favorite uh, so far, and uh, I don't know, both teams have been kind of flat lining it a bit when it comes to uh, the total in this one. Both meetings last year went under, but uh, I'm going to end up going over in this one at the 136 and a half. Um, uh, I, I, Scotch says way too many points for Creighton to cover. I, I don't know. I, you know, no doubt Seton Hall might be able to get this money, but um, I don't know. I, I, I'm more leaning towards Creighton that I can't play it with you. So I'll go over in this one. Give me an over. I need an over today. Okay. <laughs> So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our All Cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.